Treatment of Alzheimer's disease using pharmaceutical drugs has been a big disappointment. In fact, there are a lot of drugs that make Alzheimer's disease a lot worse. We know that you can use Namenda and Aricept, and it seems to provide a tiny bit of benefit uh, at slowing the progression of the disease for a few months. But basically, it, it doesn't do anything to shorten, uh, the, the, to reduce the symptoms or to make the disease disappear. There are some nutritional approaches that we can use that are quite effective that we're learning a lot more about. One of the breakthroughs that has just been uh, uh, brought forward in the, in the medical literature came out of the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. And what they had is a study that looked at vitamin D3 and found that it helps to clear the amyloid plaques that are found in Alzheimer's disease. It's kind of interesting that this is uh, a mechanism that uh, we have discovered because basically we've been looking for the drug solution to finding a way to make Alzheimer's disease disappear. And and the answers have really been in front of our nose. What we found is that vitamin D does a lot to increase immunity by boosting macrophage function, uh, which is quite deficient in people who have Alzheimer's disease. There are two types of macrophages, type 1 and type 2. And when we use vitamin D3, it seems to boost the, the uh, effect of these macrophages uh, in being able to eat and destroy some of the beta amyloid that is the marker of Alzheimer's disease. Some of the mechanisms have been discovered and they're a little bit complex, but basically what it does is it activates something called a chloride channel that stimulates these macrophages to be able to, to, dis to, to eat the uh, beta amyloid and make it disappear. So it's basically retuning how the macrophages work. There was a study done, uh, the national study on a nutritional supplement or a nutrition, uh, the state of nutrition in people. And, and this is the third one that was done by the U U.S. Department of, of uh, Agriculture. And what they found in this study, amongst many other things, is that there is an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease in people who have a vitamin D deficiency. And they, think, they thought that it protected against the cognitive decline that you see in the elderly. So vitamin D3 turns out to be something that's uh, very potentially very valuable. And it's interesting that most people who are elderly are in nursing homes or are not getting, and, and there, of course, they don't get out much to get sunlight. And people who are elderly don't get out that much in general compared to when they were younger. The nutritional approaches that can be used, that can be quite helpful uh, in this disease where we're basically losing mitochondrial function. It's like an electrical brownout when you have uh, Alzheimer's disease, meaning that we can't produce ATP, uh, the energy currency of the cell. ATP is like gasoline is to a car, ATP is to a cell. So if we don't have enough ATP, we simply can't run the neurological machinery that's in our body. Things that can support that are things like niacinamide and curcumin. Coconut oil is a wonderful fuel and, and, and a high-grade coconut oil provides an alternative source of energy that uses ketone bodies. That's a very interesting approach that you can look on drsabuta.com under coconut oil and you can learn more about that. Choline is another important nutrient that helps to make acetylcholine, which is one of the nutrients, the neurotransmitters that disappears in people who have Alzheimer's disease. Vitamin B12 and vitamin uh, D3 and vitamin E and vitamin C are all good antioxidants that help pr protect against the development of uh, the free radicals that cause Alzheimer's disease to progress faster. The essential fatty acids, particularly DHA, are, are, are important in, in that as well. So we have a whole host of nutritional approaches to manage Alzheimer's disease that have the potential to do far more than Aricept and Namenda. So it might be a good idea uh, if, you, uh, if you don't know what your vitamin D3 level is uh, to check it. In fact, I think everybody should because we have an epidemic of vitamin D deficiency. But in Alzheimer's disease, it's particularly important. So check your level of D3. It may protect you from cognitive decline.